the students who are coming in in terms of their academic achievements may not be where you need them to be when yeah. they come to college so you've got to do a lot of work on that end so what I mean what challenges are you facing in that end of things? Well certainly I mean the, the underprepared student is a big challenge for our institutions and it's uh, it's an issue that has drawn a great deal of attention and scrutiny from policymakers regarding how much money is spent annually on remediating students or getting students ready for college level coursework and you know we're very hopeful that because of the a uh, number of changes that have been made to K-12 that uh, over the course of the next five or six years we're going to really start to see some of the benefit of that. The, the, the unfortunate part is that those changes, while wonderful and, and gaining lots of national recognition, don't just change that problem overnight. But we're hopeful that we're going to start to see some changes there. But the other thing we have to keep in mind is remediation is not just uh, a problem with students who are recent high school graduates. Um, when you look at a state that has such low educational attainment rates as we do, and if we're going to really try to double those number of college degrees, it, it is impossible to do that with only high school graduates. We're going to have to reach out to those older students who perhaps already have 60 or 90 hours under their belt and for one reason or the other didn't finish and now trying to get them back in the pipeline and get them to finish. But when you bring back those older students, those students who have been out of high school for a number of years, um, they've lost some of those skills. You know, I, I can tell you with a great degree of certainty that if I took the ACT today, there's probably a pretty good likelihood I would be have to have remediation mm -hmm. in mathematics just because I've lost a lot of those basic uh, things that, that uh, I learned in high school. And so that brings with it, you know, it, it's two different populations that you look at. And so I think um, that we know that that's always going to be there. The thing we're having to look at is, are there other innovative ways of remediating a student other than saying, you've got to go sit in this class for 15 or 16 weeks, uh, three hours a week, and make a C or better? Or are there ways that we can do uh, with online or are there ways that we can perhaps allow students to work at their own pace, shorten those time frames and perhaps move them through that system a little quicker. The research clearly shows that students who require remediation are far less likely to persist and ultimately graduate than those who do not. Mm -hmm. And the longer it takes to get to college level coursework, the greater the chance that that student drops out. And so our institutions are really working very hard at looking at different models and ways that we can uh, adapt the curriculum uh, and remedial courses to make sure that we're maximizing the opportunity for students to first make sure they have the skill sets necessary to succeed in a college course, but then also to hopefully do that in a more rapid fashion in a way that's going to allow them to have a better chance of success.